Hi guys, so I've been given this uh, Smooth Q by Zoom to review. It's a handheld gimbal with three motors that's made for your cell phone. So let's get into it. So aesthetically, how it looks, it's standard gimbal, but it's off the bat much more lightweight than my big gimbal that's made for my small DSLR or point and shoot, which is also by Zoom. And it comes in this major box. Here, let me bring it out to compare. So here you can see the difference between size and also weight between the two. So anyways, aesthetically and how it looks like a standard gimbal, there are three motors, one here, here and here. And it also will be available in a variety of different colors. And uh, it's made for a cell phone, but you also can use it for a sports cam. Okay, so let's take a look at the base. Okay, so the base has this uh, button for directions, which allow you to move it up, down, and all around. Um, it has a mode function, which is made for, from testing it out for selfie or just to pan also has a record and power button and wide and tight which is used for the app and we'll get into the app a little later there's also two usb ports a mini usb and standard usb they both can be used to charge the, the base and you also can charge your cell phone it comes with a usb connector that you can use to charge the base and if you have the right connections of course you can use it for your cell phone. So let's get into the app. I am personally not going to download the app. I'm going to show you this video about how it works, insert it here, and then we'll talk a little more about why I personally won't use the app. Switch on the power of people. Turn on Bluetooth on your smartphone. Thanks to Gym Assistant. After entering the interface, click the connected device and find the name of product. Then finally confirm by clicking connection. After connecting to the app, get into the camera interface and click the first focus icon. Switch the gimbal to locking mode and mark out the target. Then we can shoot with object checking. You can choose photographic, video, or panoramic mode by simply driving the joystick up and down. Under photographic mode, you can start taking pictures by pressing the red button. While under video mode, you can start filming by pressing the same button. You can zoom in and out when you are taking the video. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that cute little woman's voice and her accent. And she was very helpful, wasn't she? You're welcome. Anyways, the reason I probably won't download the app, at least at this time, is I don't zoom on my cell phone. Um, so that would be probably the primary focus. But it is quite handy if you will be using it to that capacity because you can also record and stop once you plug in your cell phone to the gimbal. So let's talk about how it works. I found it very easy to use. In fact, the most easiest gimbal that I've ever had to use that has motor. Exponentially easier than this big one. So in addition to being lightweight, they're usually kind of tricky to balance, but this one makes it a breeze. So all you have to do is insert your cell phone and it has grooves for you to insert them. Fail. And it has grooves for you to insert. I have my life proof case on it. If you're interested in learning more about my life proof case, I have a video and I'll put it here. But anyways, you insert your cell phone and then you use this screw right here to pull it out to where you think it would balance. Then you turn on the motor and when it can stand up by itself, then you know it's balanced. So you would adjust here, this screw right here, and you would adjust it until it actually balances to where you can move it. I've already balanced this because I've used it. And once it's balanced, you don't have to ever do it again if you use the same cell phone or if you're using your sports cam. 
So that's also handy, but that's usually how it works with gimbals. If you use the same camera once it's balanced, you don't have to rebalance. So you can also record vertically. So I'm gonna turn it off right now. Um, and this is an also much easier than the previous version of the Smooth from Zoom. You just take this screw from behind, loosen it, and then you would adjust it like that. And there are little grooves so that you know that it's the right place for the horizontal and vertical recording. And of course, you know, I'm against vertically shooting videos, but there are some live stream applications or Snapchat or some apps that you guys may be using out there that prefer vertical shooting. And so this makes it handy too, because then you can have a smooth shot while you're taking your audience with you on your own adventures. So that's about it. Now you're ready to go play with your gimbal. Um, I do want to also mention in addition to the USB port, it comes with this handy dandy carrying case, which is so lightweight and convenient that you can just drop it in your bag. Um, and you know, we all carry big bags. So I like that as opposed to this big case that I showed you earlier that carries the standard gimbal. And I mean, the mode is for selfie or just to pan. So you see how it's just panning and going where it needs to go. And if I change the mode, it's looking at me. So it will always make sure to return to home and follow me. So this is a brand new gimbal. Um, this is a test one. And I'm saying that because it claims to have 12 hours of continual use. Although last weekend when I tried it, it didn't really hold up to that. So I've been told by Zoom, they did send me testers and it may not function the way that it's supposed to. So I will leave that up to you to see if you want to uh, take the chance and if it really holds up to the 12 hour battery life. But I will say at this price point, you cannot beat it. It's under $150. Um, again, you can use your cell phone. You can also use a sports cam for more professional looking shoots like hiking or something like that, that you would have a handy dandy gimbal and you don't want to bring a big one. Depending on your production, I will have a link below to Amazon where you can click through to get this one. But if you're thinking about getting the DJI Osmo, but already have like a good quality sports cam, or you do most of your video shooting on your cell phone, you would consider this because it's heads and shoulders exponentially cheaper than the DJI Osmo. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this Zoom Smooth Q, the latest model. Uh, if you like it, like it. Don't forget to comment and let me know what you think. And if you want more information about it as I continue to test this, and of course, share with your friends.